This case considered the issue of competing equitable interests and whether or not the failure to lodge a caveat in relation to an unregistered mortgage amounted to postponing conduct in relation to the priority over a later equitable interest. In this case a man purchased a property with the use of two mortgages. The first mortgage was for the majority of the purchase price and the second mortgage was for a much smaller amount and was provided by the vendor of the property. The first mortgage was then registered, but the second mortgage was not registered. However, the vendor had repeatedly requested his solicitor to do so. The now owner of the property later obtained a personal loan using the property as security, but did not tell the finance company that provided the loan that the second mortgage existed. The personal loan was never registered, but the finance company did lodge a caveat. Complications arose and the finance company brought an action against the second mortgagee and argued that they had priority over the second mortgage on the basis that the second mortgagee had failed to register the mortgage or lodge a caveat in respect of the mortgage. The central issue for the court, therefore, was whether or not the failure to lodge a caveat resulted in the loss of priority for the second mortgagee as against the finance company. The court ultimately